Hello, my name is Dr. Jessica Conwell, and I am a psychologist with a private practice in Lake Oswego. I kind of see things as kind of having multiple layers. One layer is, for some people, there is immediate behaviors that they want to have tools to address. So if you're having panic attacks, here are some things you can do in that moment to address that. And then I see there's a deeper layer of what's causing that anxiety? What's triggering that? Where did that come from? And can we understand that within the context of your experiences in the past? What's your history. Sometimes people run into thinking patterns or behavior patterns that aren't necessarily um, pathological but are bothering them that they would like to change or they would like to grow or like to do things differently in their relationships um, and I think those are also perfectly valid reasons to come to therapy. Working with adolescents is is a lot of fun because you catch people when they're um, these young people who are growing and changing and developing so much and so I think there's a lot you can provide for them and just normalizing some of the developmental challenges that they're going through um, and I guess that's where a lot of the challenges come into and there's a lot that goes on now that I don't think um, parents had to deal with when they were growing up so you've got the text messaging issues the social media so that's a challenge I think that comes in and how to manage that in a balanced way. The analogy I often use with clients is um, eating disorders we often refer to it as ed ed the initials for eating disorder um, Ed has its own voice within your head. This Ed or eating disorder is trying to lie to you and say, you know, you shouldn't eat or this is going to make you fat or, you know, all those things that go on in a person's head and the fears and trying to strengthen the person's core self so that they can kind of fight back and develop a way of defeating the eating disorder.